Hi, I'm here to give a review on the Big Daddy Scrub Daddy Sponge. Now, if you have already seen, I already had a review of the little sponge right here. And if you click the sponge, you'll get a link to my review of this. But uh, I'll tell you, I wasn't happy with it. And one of the things I really didn't like was how this mouth was formed. Uh, this mouth seemed to make it where it, it really lost its structure, its integrity right here at these corners. Uh, I think it would have been better having, I understand that this is for spoons, for those people that commented, I know it's for spoons, but I think that's also sort of worthless. You put a spoon here, you still have to squeeze the sponge down on it. So that doesn't really work out. I'd rather just squeeze the sponge in half or something like that, rather than try to put it in there and squeeze it through. It just it doesn't make much sense to me. I think it still would be better to have three holes rather than this mouth. So going on, I'm here to give a review of this. Now I haven't opened this yet, I haven't tried it out. This was, uh, I think, uh, what, $4 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, now, one of the things that it recommends on here is that you can cut it, which I sort of like. I like this idea that I can kind of cut it and form it how I want. So I'm gonna cut off, actually, it recommends using a serrated knife. I'm gonna be very careful here, and I'm gonna cut off just a small section right here. And this is gonna be for cleaning some things in the sink, and then we're gonna try some other things with this. So I'm actually gonna use the design that I had on here, which is you kind of cut at an angle. And I'm going to do that as well. So there's a few things we're going to try this on. We're going to see if this works better than the other one. I happen to like the fact that this does not have any holes in it. It makes it easier for squeezing. It, I did like being able to pick it up with the holes, but I just think that this might hold together a little better. And I have some tests that are a little different than last time where I just used it as a normal sponge because it says it's a it's Scrub Daddy sponge, and I thought it was a sponge. Everyone's saying it's not a sponge. So I'm going to try this out a little bit differently. And I have some tests for it, such as uh, scrubbing a pan or uh, uh, that's really has some caked on stuff on it to see if it can kind of remove that, to also maybe cleaning some uh, different things like uh, the stove top back here or, you know, even a shower, which it recommends on here. It also recommends uh, on here, it looks like it has some things like it shows automotive. If you can see that, here you go. It shows some automotive. A grill, like you know, this grill and you know different things that you're supposed to be able to do with it so this might be uh, I think it might be a better design for a sponge because I like the fact you can cut it up I just I like the fact you can make it the size you need if I needed this half this size I could go down and just cut it right in half again to maybe fit in between something so we're gonna try this out and we're gonna see how this works I still think it will have trouble removing grease but it might be really good at using as a scouring pad to really kind of smooth things out like given this right here you can feel it I can feel it grabbing and you can hear it. I mean, it's really grabbing onto this. So uh, we're gonna try this out. So I will update periodically on the video. I'll come back and we'll see how it works. All right, everybody, here's my first test with this Scrub Daddy uh, sponge here. Is uh, This is a grill basket that I've had soaking overnight in uh, some cascade here. I'm going to let that drain out here real quick. And uh, it is really rough. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that's built up on here. I, I don't really clean it that often. And when I do, it just doesn't seem to really come clean. So we're going to use cold water because everyone says I'm supposed to be using cold water here. I'm going to put cold water on the sponge. No soap or anything, just cold water. Make sure this is cold here. All right, now just for you guys that complained before, I turned off the tap, and I'm gonna just try scrubbing this. So actually, that's getting some stuff off this time, which is actually much better than last time. Now I'm just curious here, we're just gonna run this under some water, and if you notice, most of that stuff is now gone. This is one of the things I really liked about this, this Scrub Daddy system is the fact that these pores are nice and big and stuff just sort of falls out of it. So we're gonna keep scrubbing this a little bit and see what else will come off here. So we're getting a lot more off. This is actually working a lot better for this type of system than, and as, than as a everyday sponge. Now I have cleaned this off before with my Adobe sponge right here, Adobo sponge, whatever this is called, and I did not find it to take that much stuff off. Like if I were to scrub this down, let's just see here. 
Now it is getting some stuff off this time, so maybe the soaking helped it, but it's still not getting it off nearly as much as I think that this is. So this is actually doing really well. I'm going to rinse it out again here. And these are about the same price. I mean, these are, I think, $4 for two of these. And I have had these rip apart, actually, on this before as well. So this isn't ripping apart, it seems, but it is doing a decent job of actually cleaning. Now, actually, this is scraped off quite a bit in this area over here. It's actually pretty smooth. This is a little bit rough over here. This side, so we're going to try scrubbing that off. I don't know if you can see that real well, but it's pretty rough. So we're going to try scrubbing that off here. Now I'm getting a ton of stuff off on my hands here as well. I'm going to rinse this off one more time, rinse this area off. but it is a little bit better than what it was before. So I, th I think this is actually working fairly well on this. Now, I don't know if it's really worth it over the Dobo sponge. And actually, you know what we can do here? We can just take this sponge over the same area. Again, no soap or anything, just from it soaking overnight. Let's see what we can get off with this. Now, I can put a lot more pressure with this because I can put one finger down and kind of squeeze it into it. And I am still getting off stuff. Let's just try this with the scrub daddy again. Hold on, I'm gonna put some cold water on it, make sure it's nice and cold. So it's nice and firm. I'm trying to find a better way to grip this. This is one of the issues with having a double sink like this. So I don't see any more really coming off with this. But it does feel smoother. Let's just see, get, try this again. So this is a clean part of the pad right here. And I'm still getting stuff off with the Dobo pad. So I don't know, I don't know if this is worth it with that point. Um, you know, this is still getting stuff off, but it, I have to work a lot harder, it seems, feels like, with this to get things off. So it feels like I'm putting a lot more pressure and it's only because I can, because this one, I, if I put more pressure, it just sort of collapses on itself. And that's, maybe it would be better for actually if I put it in the freezer or something to kind of cool it off even more, make it really hard so it can be more abrasive. I think it's still getting stuff off, it's just not as noticeable either. So, I don't know, it, it, I think they might, it might just be falling right through here, which is the other thing with this. But this is now nice and smooth. Uh, there's most of most of the dirt's off of it, but either both of these work fairly well. I think that the uh, the dobo though, you have to push with one finger, kind of like this. With this, I can kind of just take the entire thing and mash it into a corner, which I can't do with with this. Like if I put that like this and just mash it into a corner, it's not going to take anything off. You really have to get one finger and you have to put all the pressure on that one finger to really get it to take anything off. Now here's the other thing with this though. When I go to rinse it out, everything just sort of stays there. Like, it's really hard to get all this stuff out, and it, they turn black very quickly, and they stay that way. So, you can see, I mean, it's still black, whereas this looks clean almost, well, except for that corner that I was just using. But, you know, if I keep going in here, I think this is actually doing a fairly decent job of this scrubbing action of getting this clean. And I might have to let this maybe soak a little bit more or uh, after scraping it off. But this, this so far has worked fairly well for scrubbing. Um, it's not coming apart either like the other one was. I, I don't know what, what it is with the yellow ones, but like it was just, as soon as I used it, it started just scraping apart. This one doesn't seem to be doing that, which is also good. So I'm, I'm fairly impressed with this right now. I'm actually, I'd, I'd recommend this for this type of application where you need to really scrub something down. And uh, as I keep doing this, I keep getting off more and more stuff, and it's just going to get more and more clean, which is good because I haven't been able to clean this in a long time. Rinse off my hands here. As you can tell, there's a lot of stuff on my hands. So it's really, this is really working well. So I'm going to continue with this, but I thought I'd just share an update here, and we'll come back. All 
All right, this is again uh, part of the Scrub Daddy review here for the block that they have, the Scrub, what is it, the Big Daddy block. And this is uh, my stove top here. And I, this sponge is just wet. I just wet it with cold water. And I'm gonna try to see what it'll take off here. So I actually have back here, I'm not sure you can see it, but uh, a ring around this. And I was hoping that this might be able to get it off. I've tried everything that I can. I mean, some of this is just dirty and that's all, that's all coming loose right away. That's, I didn't think that'd be a big deal, but there's like a ring around this one right here. And I wanna see if this can kind of scrape it off. And I cut this at a slight slope, it's uh, angled. And, you know, I'm just trying to see here what it'll, what it'll do. I can hear it and I can feel it kind of grabbing a little bit, but I don't know if it's taking anything off. Now I'm not gonna knock it if it can't take this stuff off because there's nothing has been able to get this off. But I was just curious, if this works, this is quite phenomenal. And this, remember, as I said, this is just cold water. There's no soap or anything in here. All right, let's take a paper towel and dry it off. And see how this looks, see if it got off anything here. Well, believe it or not, it did take off some. I think there's some that are that's grease on here, but actually it did pull off some of the uh, this ring that I had. I had a massive ring around this that you would easily be able to see. Actually, I might need some uh, something else to clean this real quick just to get off some of the grease that's on here because this isn't going to take off grease, obviously, when you are uh, just using water. Nothing would. Uh, paper towels obviously don't take it off either, and sponges or anything like that would not as well. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of cleaner here and we're gonna try this out here and see how this looks. All right, so I'm using a method cleaner here uh, just to kind of get off some of this grease just a little bit. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is surprising to me. This is very surprising. Now, I didn't clean as much on one side, but it did take off some of the, the ring that's here. There's still some like up here and over here, but right here where I really scrubbed, it took off a lot of that ring. I mean, you can still see there's a piece right there of it. So it did take off some of it, not all of it, um, but this actually worked better than a lot of the other cleaners I've tried, such as Ceramabrite, which could not take it off, or uh, another stove cleaning system I had called E-Cloth. Uh, so this actually did work at taking off some of this ring, especially right here where I really scraped it hard. I mean, you can hear it with my thumb there. Like, it doesn't do that anywhere else. You can hear it going over those bumps. I don't know if actually, if it's, I'm wondering if the glass is pitted here, and it really just can't take it off, because there's no... There's the stuff that was raised up, or felt like it was, is gone. So I'm wondering if the glass is pitted here for some, for some reason. But this did seem to work on taking off the rest of the ring on this side. I didn't get this side as much, and I had to take everything off and really get it at a different angle. But so far, that's actually pretty impressive that this was able to work on that. And really, there's not, no damage to this sponge. You can see it's a little bit, there's a couple, like little flecks in it maybe in some places, but that's about it. So this could be used multiple times, but uh, this was actually a more impressive test of this than uh, I expected. So and we'll continue and do a few more, few more tests. All right, here we go. We're going to test the Scrub Daddy sponge here. This sponge right here, it's wet. We're gonna test this on this line here. You can see this line where the wiper goes going around the car. And uh, when I use other cleaners, it doesn't take off that line. So we're going to see if this will do it. Now, this is probably going to clean the glass just fine. I'm just curious if it'll get rid of this line. Uh, and we'll see if this works or not. So it's just cold water that I have. I've got some cold water on top of the car here. So it's just cold water that I've dripped this in. I'm just going to start scrubbing. I'm scrubbing pretty hard here because I'm trying to get off what amounts to be a lot of dirt. 
that's built up over the couple years that I've had this car. So and you can still see it cleaned it just fine. I mean, this worked probably is just as well as a, uh, a you know a cleaner would work, but it's still leaving that line there. I was hoping that this would get rid of it, but well, it does clean just fine. The line is still there. Actually, it's disappearing a little bit now, but there's still a line there. When you, you can you can see the water kind of hitting it before it dissolves. So it cleans it, but it doesn't clean it as well as I hoped. Let's finish up with my conclusion of our Scrub Daddy sponge here, or in this case, the Big Daddy sponge. Uh, I actually like this sponge. I thought it worked very well. It was able to clean a lot of different things. I like this consistency of a big block, which we, you know, we cut up. So I could have probably cut four or five of these out of this block, which makes it a lot better value too. I mean, this was, uh, the price on here says $5.99, but I think it was $4.99 when I bought it, it was on sale. Uh, you know, for $6, getting three of these, it's $2 a piece. That's about the price of a real scrubber. Um, this really isn't a sponge, though. Um, they say, I don't know if this one says sponge on it, but uh, some of the other ones I thought did. And I think that this is just a much better design. It's better for cleaning. I actually had a lot of luck with my uh, stovetop back here. I was able to clean off the car windows perfectly fine. Um, you know, th there's one drawback to these. Uh, and I had that issue with the regular Scrub Daddy as well. And that is these do come apart. Uh, these little green flecks, I was starting to find them on things, so I had to re-rinse everything uh, to make sure they were off. Uh, it's not a big deal. I mean, other sponges come apart too, but these are really tiny little flakes, which you could easily, if you're cleaning out, especially stuff we eat off of or cook with, they could easily make their way onto there. So you have to kind of double check everything when you're cleaning it. I still, for the purposes of not cleaning stuff in the kitchen, like not sinks, or dishes or anything like that, it worked really well, especially on the stove top, and it worked pretty well on the car. I tried my uh, oven, that did not go at all. I didn't even, I don't think I even recorded that, and I wasn't willing to post it because it just didn't do anything. And I haven't been able to find anything that will work on it, so I'm not gonna knock that for this. Uh, and I, I would recommend these though. I mean, as I said, these are, these are cheaper. I still do not recommend these. Uh, this is their feel-good shape that they put out, I think, to market their product. This is the real product. This is a little bit more expensive, but instead of getting one smiling sponge that fell apart very quickly, I, I think that these just lasted a lot better. Um, I've used them a few times. I think this one still has almost all of its texture. So does this one. This one's a little bit more worn out. Of course, I just used it just recently, but uh, this is not worth the money. Uh, these, are, these are $4 a piece. This is six, or as, and when I bought mine, it was uh, four or five dollars. And this, you just get a lot more use out of it. I think it's just a better product. Um, I know that they have actually a couple more products. They have a, a new sponge that just came out that I probably will try to get a hold of and review, as, uh, along with they have a tougher version of this, which I would love to try, but I have to admit, I can't find it in any stores. Everywhere seems to be sold out of it. But uh, if I can get a hold of it, I will, I will give it a try. So my review of this is this is worth purchasing. Uh, if you have needs for cleaning uh, really tough materials or like I used this in the first video uh, to clean the, the grill pan that I had or the, uh, the vegetable pan that I used that was really burnt on with stuff, this was able to get it off and nothing else could. So I was very impressed. Uh, it still tears apart just like this, but I still, I recommend this. I do not recommend these still. I still don't think that this is a good purchase. I know that this is for Spoons and everything, but that just doesn't make sense. You still have to put the spoon in and squish it down like this. That doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So I think this is just a gimmick to get you to buy it. This is a real product. So I hope you enjoyed my review and I hope you look forward to others. Thank you.